the man to beat. He's talking just at the moment. Or how about we shouldn't have been in Iraq. It was a mistake. I was against it many years ago, and I was strongly against it. Headlines. Trump was, I don't even know why they quoted me, but I had headlines, Trump, because you were going to destabilize the Middle East. Okay. So they made the mistake. It was a terrible mistake. Now what happens? You have to get out. Obama ends. He gives the date that we're leaving. He says, we're going to be gone. And what was it? 18 months. Gives an exact date. So the enemy said, wow, this is great. They pull back. I couldn't believe it. I thought it might be camouflage of some form. We pull back, right? And the enemy goes back, doesn't work too hard. Why? They don't want to be killed. Even though you hear they want to be killed, believe me, they don't want to be killed. So they pull back, we leave, and it's a mess. It's a mess. So you got to keep your little ideas to yourself. And we will do something so special with the military. When CNN did a recent poll, uh, and it was a big one. Uh, not only forget about the fact that I'm winning every poll. We're winning now every single poll, and we're winning in Iowa. We're winning in Iowa. Okay, so is and he I a stand-up really comedian, or is he the next you know, president of the United States say, oh, we'll of America? Broadcaster Milo Yiannopoulos and Kate Andrews from the Adam Smith Institute think tank are both here. Ladies first. Well, look. One of the biggest disappointments of the current president is that he came in promising hope and change and unity, and he ended up being incredibly divisive. Gridlock in Washington is some of the worst that we've ever seen. Race relations are completely awful, and uh, I think the country is feeling completely divided. Anybody who has made those criticisms of the president under no circumstances should think that Donald Trump is presidential material. You only need to look at his comments on women or only his comments on Mexicans or only his comments on Muslims to know that he is a great divider. But put them all together, and this is somebody who is going to tear us apart. You see, you say that, but that's not what the polls show. Donald Trump's doing really well with women, and he's doing better with Hispanics than, what is it, any Republican since the 1920s? He's doing great with all the minorities that commentators like to say that he's somehow bigoted against. He's doing great with everybody. He's even doing great with Democrats. 20% of Democrats said they'd vote for Donald Trump. So, you know, you hear a lot about Donald Trump being this sort of offensive, clownish, populist figure, and he is a populist, and people love it. These polls are terribly skewed at the moment because there's so many Republicans on that national stage. People are looking to him. Uh, they're, you know, big fans of his, but they're only at that 30% mark. He has never polled over that 35% mark, and that's because his unfavorability ratings are sky high. They're so much higher than any previous presidential candidate who's actually looking to get the nominations has been. People are polling at 60%, 55%, saying that they will never vote for him. So yes, at the moment, because other people are splitting the votes, he's doing very well. But when you have 60% of the population saying they will never vote for this man ever, put him up against Hillary Clinton, put him up against Bernie Sanders, and he will fail. Well, you say, again, you say that, but there's been a recent change in the polls. It used to be the case His that he was trailing. His unfavorability ratings are His still unfavorability sky ratings high. aren't great. But he was trailing Hillary. You know, if he wins if he wins the nomination, he was trailing Hillary by, what, 10 percentage points? Like Huge, a, 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 20 percentage not points. Not anymore. He's now three points ahead, four points ahead, and some of the polls put him five points ahead. What scares people about Donald Trump is they want to attack him the way the media always attacks anybody popular and who actually speaks in plain language to ordinary people about the things they care about, whether it's immigration or jobs or whatever. They but do is he it. a they misogynistic racist? Of course not. He just speaks plainly, and he doesn't mind who he offends because he thinks that the subjects he talks about matter. And when he said last night in the debate, he responded brilliantly to the allegation that he was an angry man. He said, yeah, I am angry. And here are the reasons why. And everybody in that room was behind but him. But if you want somebody who's actually going to attack the anger that Americans are feeling towards the elites, and you want someone who's actually going to stand up and do that, the you need somebody for that. who, A, has a policy. I'm just asking for one. I mean, the man flip-flops on every single issue. All he says is, I'm he's going totally to make America on great again. He's totally consistent. He's totally consistent I mean, on cons immigration. And I'm by sorry, the way, saying that, in, saying that millions of people, regardless of who they are individually, cannot come into your country is not an immigration policy, it's also not constitutional. As Ram but you know pointed what? out He's many right times about so much it. of what he People proposes. agree with him. And, but, you know, People Donald do not Trump... agree with overthrowing the Constitution in America. Don't, I no, promise sure. you but that. Donald Trump was saying, let's look at whether we should uh, have a temporary halt on Muslim immigration before Cologne. Now Cologne has happened. The whole game has changed. I don't think Americans are watching changed. Germany and they're thinking, oh my goodness, we do not want this I in America. Think and that the, only Republican candidate, pointy fingers. the only Republican <laughs> candidate who was saying this was Trump. Trump has been right about 
about immigration, you know, over and over and over again, and he's been ahead of everybody else doing it. There are deeply conservative candidates like Senator Ted Cruz, who are very skeptical of, of immigration and who have come down hard, who have even said, "I want to build a wall with mm -hmm. Mexico." Now, I don't particularly well, after Trump, I don't Trump's particularly idea. want to subscribe to that, but there are other candidates out there who are offering these ideas to, to and voters. And calling it two, three percent. Ted Cruz is about to beat him in Iowa. You know what? There are other Trump, candidates. No, 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 no. My, I think the bigger point here is that I am completely understanding of Americans who are frustrated and skeptical skeptical of the current system now. What I don't understand is how when you have other options you could possibly say that somebody who has been so sexist and so rude it's against other ethnicities. And women don't agree with you. Hispanics don't agree no, with you. Most Blacks of them do. don't you, agree with you. They, they don't. No, no, That's the, the generalization do. surely no. no, it's the, based the on poll numbers. He, uh, Trump is rating higher with Blacks, higher with Hispanics and higher with women than any other Republican candidate for We're decades. Still There's in a campaign the in the United States. Kingdom. What ordinary, what ordinary voters believe about Donald Trump is so different from what you'll hear from the media and the commentary. It is untrue. But, Milo, the media you... did this with UKIP. It backfired. It did it with Corbyn. It backfired. It's doing it now with but, Trump and it will backfire here Milo, too. We, and Sanders, but you for that and I, matter. But you and I would agree that UKIP and Jeremy Corbyn are not going to be uh, Prime Minister of the UK anytime soon. No, but Donald Trump, Trump, on the other hand, does have a chance to make America great again. All the suggestion in the polls is actually that he doesn't, that those more moderate candidates are much more likely to beat Hillary Clinton. Donald That's Trump not what is, the latest numbers he, show. Yes, it they is. Show, he is they show, doing if a he bit won the nomination with today, but we're still talking about tiny percentages if he were a sexist in comparison and a bigot, to the majority of the sexist, Matt Milo, speak. If he were a sexist and a bigot, wouldn't he be doing terribly with minorities? Wouldn't he, in fact, have at least an average rating with minorities? He doesn't. He has the best numbers with minorities of any Republican candidate in decades. I have no idea what's in his heart. I have no idea if in his heart he is a racist or a bigot. Frankly, I think he, I, I'm not sure he is either. He's such a, he's such a populist. Businesses. Look how many Hold women on. are in his Hold businesses. On. He is such a populist that I think if Americans were skeptical of young white women coming into the country, he would go on TV and say that we should ban them. He is no. such a populist. All he is doing <laughs> is trying to feed in to what he thinks is going to make him a winner and get him votes, which is why we've seen him flip-flop on every single issue. He's been willing to say anything. I think people are feeding into him to some extent because they like that he isn't PC, they like that he's an alternative to the establishment, but a man who had the opportunity to actually talk about the serious issues ran with fear and emotion and has made outrageous and hurtful and wrong comments. He's, he's lied on air. You see, where we differ is rates. I don't care about feelings. I don't care do about care offense about facts? taking. I don't, I, do, I do you care, care about, about facts? facts do you care about I lying do care about, about facts, the number of people? I don't people. care about offense taking. I don't care about feelings. You say, oh, he's so offensive, he's so bigoted, he says the awful things about women. American voters don't care either. They agree with him and they agree with I me. I care about facts and I care about the Constitution and I care about upholding the rule of law and Donald Trump has threatens all of those things. And his idea, especially with Barack Obama making this executive action on gun control, this precedent has now been set that if Donald Trump comes in, he's going to be able to use executive action to make some very dangerous decisions. But Trump decisions. is saying he wants to repeal the unlawful things that, that um, Obama has done. I mean, Obama's come in and tried to undermine the Second Amendment, which I think we both are strong supporters of, mm -hmm. at every available opportunity. You know, he has used his relationship, he's, he has put in place a, an attorney general who hates the Second Amendment, who wants to take guns off everybody. He himself wants to take guns off everybody. He's tried to undermine it every opportunity. Trump's the one who's come in and said, I will repeal President Obama's unlawful executive Great. actions. Great. I'll appeal, I'll appeal President Obama's um, unlawful executive actions and I'll put in place my own. Both men, <laughs> both men are not the example of presidential material. To be fair, it's not just him material. that said that. It's not just him no, that said several, that. Several candidates have said yeah. that. Uh, what would the USA look like if he was president? Well, luckily we have a system that has a lot of checks and balances. I think it would actually be very difficult for President Trump to put into place a lot of the things that he proposes. But given the fact that the past eight years have been defined by gridlock, the economy re remains relatively stagnant, I think you would see so much more of that. Look at President Reagan. He was a B-list Hollywood actor, but the reason that he became such a great uniter and such a great politician is because he took the time to read and to create policies. But Trump is a Reaganite candidate. He is look so at, far from it. At, this is a man who does are, not have policy, and if he were to be elected, America would be lost. I don't think it would be in complete and utter destruction on day one, but it would be deeply lost, and we need real leadership. We've had eight years without it. Every hypothetically, we could, hypothetically, we could find... Hello. Hypothetically, we could find ourselves in a position where the new president of the United States of America is banned from the United Kingdom. Yeah, because British, public, <laughs> British politicians are idiots, um, and they would rather spend valuable parliamentary time talking about language policing than fixing poverty or fighting terrorism. Language policing to you, racism to others. No, well, where has Donald Trump been a racist? Black voters love him. Shouldn't we listen to them rather than to, like, white commentariats? Shouldn't we listen to, to black voters rather than white people? 
people on TV saying that, that, that oh, Donald Trump's such a racist. Black people don't agree. Milo I, and I agree should... on this point, but for completely different reasons. I don't <laughs> think that Donald Trump should be banned from the UK. I think that the 500,000 people that signed that petition actually fed into an immigration system that Donald Trump would support. They want to ban him based on his ideology because he wants to ban other people based on their ideology. That doesn't add up to me. Completely different reason, but I don't think yeah. he should be banned from the UK. It's I think a silly you know, proposal. There are lots of good reasons why it is totally dumb for the people who run this country to be wasting time on whether they should ban who it, a person who is currently a candidate for president and a reality TV star and a successful businessman who has some perfectly respectable ordinary views that millions of people share but somebody got upset about it somewhere on the page of the guardian so now we have to discuss this in parliament i'm not Are sure it's joking? Joking? Okay. but that doesn't we're matter we're almost out of time this is absolutely fascinating hopefully you'll come back and talk to us again <laughs> soon who will win the nomination oh gosh oh I... wait your turn Milo. sorry that's unlikely. i'm just so excited about i'm him. sure um, I'm split at the moment. If I had to pick now based on the polling, it's between Senator Mark Rubio and Senator Ted Cruz. I think what happens in Iowa and New Hampshire in the next few weeks will determine that front runner. Your turn. Uh, can't stump the Trump. Donald Trump is going to win. He's going to get the nomination absent sort of gerrymandering from the Republican establishment, which is still a possibility. He will win the nomination. What the latest polls show is if he does, he'll beat Clinton. And he'll make America great again. He will make America fabulous. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Told you it was going to be a great debate, didn't I? <laughs> Hopefully you two will come back again of soon. We will. You, it's us. great to Thank talk you. to you. Thank you very much indeed. Just a quick look that he is still talking in Iowa. There he is. Have a quick look.